Good morning. Good morning. All right. Let me just make sure we're actually live because, you know, sometimes Facebook does a funky thing where we're not really live. We just think we're live. Okay, cool. We are live. Awesome. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about the, the software, the technology, the tools that you're going to need to start your bookkeeping business. And I think the reason this is really important, we go over all of this in detail in Bookkeeper Training School, um, which if you have not signed up for our free training yet, go to bookkeepertrainingschool.com. But the reason that I think this is important is because there's this misconception that you need an office full of stuff and you need to have printers and faxes and high-end computers and lots of expensive software. And that is just not the case. And so I wanted to go through what my basic tech stack looks like. And your tech stack is the things that you need to run your business effectively. Um, and this is where we have our bookkeeper start in bookkeeper training school. But I just think it's really important to have a, an idea of what you're going to need and the costs of it. And I'll tell you, as I go through this, um, if you already have, if you already have the first two things, then the rest of the cost is really, really minimal. And most people already have the first two things. So the first thing that you're going to need to start your bookkeeping business is you're going to need to have a laptop, a desktop, or a Chromebook. Now people are like, can I do it with a tablet? Unfortunately, the pro advisor version of QuickBooks software does not work. Um, does not work on tablets. So you don't get all the functionality that you need with the software. So you need to really have a laptop, a Chromebook or a desktop. You really need something that is browser based that's gonna give you full functionality in a browser. And when you use that browser, it's not gonna send you to the mobile version of websites. Okay, that's why Chromebooks work really, really well for this um, as a starter. So like if you, are in the market to look for something, you know, you can get an inexpensive Chromebook. Um, I've seen them for as little as $99 if you can get them on sale, but usually they're around 200. Um, there's also been amazing deals I'm seeing on laptops. Um, if you can get a hand-me-down laptop, you know, clean it up, bring it to a computer person, um, reset it, that will work just fine as well. Okay, so it doesn't have to be um, it doesn't have to be a crazy computer. I think people think they need something really, really powerful. Um, and you don't, okay? The other thing that you need, okay? So basic laptop, Chromebook, or desktop. That's the first thing you need. The second thing you need is you need an internet connection. Now, what type of internet connection do you need? Okay, so you can do this on DSL, cable, satellite, or cell phone. We actually have a number of members who travel around the country in RVs. They're using um, either a satellite connection or a cellular connection that's working just fine. Um, we have people that are actually like working on stuff in the car while they're going on trips. And so they're using their, their um, cellular and it's working just fine. So QuickBooks is a pretty is a pretty stable piece of software. There's not like a lot of video, there's not a lot going on. And so you need less internet than you would need if you're watching Netflix. So if you can watch Netflix or another streaming service or watch YouTube videos, then you're just fine. Okay, you've got more than enough, more than enough internet speed. Okay, so most people already have those first two things. They've got the laptop or Chromebook, they've got the internet connection. So now let's, let's go through the rest of the stack. Because the rest of the stack, um, there are free or very low cost tools for all of these. In fact, the, the stack that I kind of went through, just to give you an idea, the total cost of this tech stack is $10. Okay, $10. Now, sometimes as you grow, you might have additional costs, you might have additional things you want to do, but you can literally start your business with all of this stuff for $10, okay? All right, so let's go through. So the first thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need a QuickBooks Pro Advisor account. Your QuickBooks Pro Advisor account is free. This is not the same subscription that like small businesses buy, okay? The QuickBooks Pro Advisor account is specifically for accountants and bookkeepers who are working with clients. It makes it really easy for you to connect with your clients 
and that account is free and it's free forever. Okay, and it's free for anybody. You could Google QuickBooks Pro Advisor and you could sign up for an account um, and, and use the account. So I think a lot of people, when they start looking at bookkeeping and they start looking at these courses, the courses will say, well, included free is a free QuickBooks account. It's the Pro Advisor account and anybody can get it for free. You don't need to buy my course or anybody else's course to sign up for that. Just Google QuickBooks Pro Advisor um, and you want the online version. Okay, and the online version is free. If you want the desktop version, that does have fees. Okay, but the online version is free. Okay, so that's that's the first thing. Again, free, zero cost. Okay, you with me so far? Awesome. And if you're just coming on the video after I'm finished, you can go back in and watch the beginning part. So the next thing that you're going to need is you need somewhere online to send potential clients. Now, most people automatically think, oh, I need a website. Okay. And website, you know, they're just seeing dollar signs. Um, in bookkeeper training school, we teach that you don't start with a website. You don't get a website until you have at least five clients. Um, so what I recommend you start with is either a Facebook page, your LinkedIn profile, or when you pass the certification exam for QuickBooks, you'll get a pro advisor profile that you can use as well. And that pro advisor profile becomes searchable for people who are looking for help in QuickBooks Online. Okay. So you need one of those three things. Again, all of those are free. All of those are free. And that then you have somewhere to send potential clients. Okay. All right. Awesome. So now the next thing that you're going to want to have is you're going to want to have a free Zoom account, again, free, free Zoom account, or you can use Google Meet. But essentially you need something where you can meet with people for discovery calls, okay, or to meet with clients in case you're doing onboarding calls um, or you just, you want to meet with vendors. So I'm using, I'm using a Zoom account right now to actually stream through to Facebook. You'll see that it's a Zoom in the corner of the, um, the Facebook Live. So Zoom has free accounts that limit the amount of time that you can be on a call. And so for most of the calls that you have, that's going to be perfectly fine to have that limit. Okay. Um, Google Meet is free if you have a Gmail account. And it's a lot like Zoom. Um, some of my clients I work with on Google Meet because um, there's less that they have to, to download in order to use it. But most people now are pretty familiar with using Zoom after the, the pandemic. And so, um, but free options for both of those, okay? All right, so here's the first thing that's gonna cost you some money and it's gonna cost you $10, okay? And if you get a coupon, it's actually cheaper than that. Um, you need a URL. A URL is your, is your .com, okay? So bookkeepertrainingschool.com is one of my URLs. I own a ton of them. Um, I own askkristen.net. Um, I own accountingandfocus.com. So that is, that's your URL, that .com. We buy ours through Namecheap, okay? Um, that's what we recommend in the course. And what that's going to do is that's going to give you an easy, an easy website to give people, right? An easy address to give people to get to your Facebook page or LinkedIn or your ProAdvisor profile. So remember, I said we need to have somebody to, we need to have somewhere to send people. We need to have an easy way to get them there. And so instead of, you know, on your business cards, putting facebook.com slash whatever your, your page name is, or um, the really long URL you have for your pro advisor profile, or the really long URL that you have for your um, LinkedIn profile, you buy a URL and you forward it to the place you want them to go. And we teach you how to do this inside the course, okay? Or you can Google how to do it. Um, but so that'll cost you $10, but again, that's just something. So you have something really nice and pretty to put on your, your business cards. Um, or when you're telling people, like I said, at the beginning of this video, go to bookkeepertrainingschool.com. The page that you actually go to, it actually forwards you to another page. That's like smallbizlife.com slash free training 2022, or, you know, it's a really long URL, but sending you to bookkeeper training school is much easier right? It's easier for you to remember. It's easier for me to say. 
And so that's why the $10 URL. And then at some point, you the other thing you can do with that too is that we can also create email off of that, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. You can um, later on when you get your, um, you know, when you get your website built, you can send people to that, okay? And so it just gives you options, okay? Which I really like, I love options. Okay, so, so far we've talked about the QuickBooks Pro Advisor program, which is free. We've talked about um, somewhere to send potential clients, either a Facebook page, a LinkedIn profile, or a Pro Advisor profile, again, free. We've talked about getting a free Zoom account or Google Meet account, free. Um, so the first thing, and then we talked about your URL, which will cost you about $10, and we use Namecheap for that, okay? I'll put a link in the comments after um, to our, our referral page for, for Namecheap. Um, the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need a professional email address. And here's how we teach you how to do some bookkeeper training school, okay? I'm giving you guys a lot behind the hood of what we do in the course. Um, because a lot of people think it's just a bookkeeping class, but we also go over all the stuff to help you set up your business as well. Because I think it's really important. What's the sense of teaching bookkeeping if we don't teach you everything else you need to run the business? So, um, so you need a professional email address. So this is what, what we have people do. Go to Gmail and set up the name of your business at gmail.com. Okay. Um, and that that's free to do. Okay. Then what you can do is you can, if you buy your, if you buy your URL through Namecheap, Namecheap will let you set up a free email address that you can forward to your Gmail account. So you'll have a nice, you know, imagine, um, so like, for example, for my firm, I have Kristen at KLICPA.com, right? That's my firm email address. I also have Kristen at marginfulbusiness.com. I could, instead of setting that up, I could actually forward that to marginfulbusiness at gmail.com, okay? And then I don't have to pay for email service right away. Again, the thing that we're trying to do for you guys is we're trying to make it so that when you're starting your bookkeeping business, it's really affordable. You don't have to worry about all this money going out. And then as you are building up your business, as you get clients, as you have cash flow, then you can decide, okay, now what do I want to do? Do I want to build a website? Do I want to, um, and I'll talk about this as like, do I want to get um, a Google workspace, which means that I'm actually sending email from the email address for my URL. So for me, Kristen at marginfulbusiness.com. Okay. So, um, and that's what we do. We have, we use Google workspace. So Google workspace, I'll talk about that right now. Um, what Google Workspace is, if you've got a free Gmail account, then you have a lot of the features of Google Workspace, okay? Um, Google Workspace is your email address at your domain, okay? So mine is, my domain is marginfulbusiness.com and my email address is Kristen at marginfulbusiness.com. So I have, I have that, right? Um, so it's your email, it's access to Google Sheets, Google Docs, um, uh, Google, it's not present, um, Google Slides, which is their equivalent of PowerPoint. So you get all of this office stuff for free. Um, if you do the, if you do the $12 a month plan, you get um, booking software, which I'll talk about in a second, um, to help people book appointments with you. You get a lot of online storage, which you can use to store your client files. That's what we use to store our client files. Um, and so, so you get all that, that's about $12 a month. Now, if you don't want to do that right away, you could do the free Gmail account. Okay. And that will get you, that will get you started until you're ready to do that. Okay. So the professional email. So again, QuickBooks Pro Advisor, somewhere to send potential clients, um, your free Zoom account or your Google Meet. You also get Google Meet with the um, workspace. Um, you're going to get a Google Calendar just for your business. The URL, which is $10 a year, okay? Your professional email address, which you can either do free or you can... Hey, bud. I can find a camera. Um, we'll find it after I'm done, okay? Thank you. <laughs> he wanted to come say hi. He couldn't find his camera. 
Um, and then, or you can, you can do Google for free or you can do Google Workspace, which is about $12 per month. You could also do, um, you could also do Microsoft 365, which is about the same cost per month. The thing that I find though is that so many people are using Gmail for their businesses is that it's much easier. Like people are gonna send you Google Sheets. People are gonna send you um, Google Docs. And so I, I find it's much easier to interface with clients if I'm using those tools than if I'm trying to use Office tools because not everybody has Excel or Word. And so we've just found in our business, we actually were using, um, we were using Office 365 and we actually went back to, we actually went back to Google because it was just much easier interfacing with our clients that way. So make sure that you take that into account as well. Okay, so the next thing is you need a booking link. Okay. And the booking link is going to be wherever you're sending clients. Okay. Or you're going to use this in your email. Your booking link is going to be the place where if somebody says, Hey, I'd love to learn more about your services. You say, great, let's hop on a 15 minute call and we can talk about your needs. Okay. We call those discovery calls. And so you need something to make it easy to book discovery calls because you don't want to be wasting time going, well, what does your schedule look like? Well, my schedule looks like this. You don't want to do that. So you can just send people the booking link. They can book. It's hooked up to your calendar. So you can say, this is when I'm available. And it only shows people when you're available. It is awesome. They're the greatest thing in the whole world. Um, now, Calendly has a free version. Okay. And you can Google, um, you can Google online scheduling software. Okay. Um, and Calendly will come up. Acuity will come up. If you have the Google um, $12 per month subscription for Workspace, which includes your email and all those tools we just talked about, um, that has one as well. Okay. Um, each of these different tools has, has their benefits. Um, you know, so for example, like something like Calendly, if you have a paid version with them, which you might want to do eventually, it will, you can actually build out like a very simple website through Calendly, right, as part of your booking. And so that's pretty cool. Um, so each of these tools has, you know, on their paid versions has more, um, more things you can do with it. And so again, if you start with the free versions, then you can kind of figure out, okay, what do I like? What don't I like? And then you can determine what's your priority to upgrade. And typically when I'm deciding what I'm going to upgrade, I look at how is this going to save me time, right? So if I'm going to, you know, what's the next thing I can upgrade that's going to save me the most time, okay? And so that's, that's what I look at. Anyway, so that's kind of, that's my opinion on it. Okay, and then the last thing, um, that you're going to need to get started is you're going to need signature contract, uh, signature software for your contracts. So when you send a contract to a client, you're going to send it electronically and they are going to sign it electronically. And that's just so that you both have the same understanding that this is what our agreement looks like. We talk about contracts inside bookkeeper training school. Um, but so there's a number of different options that are that are free or have free trials. So DocuSign, which you actually get a discount for as a pro advisor for QuickBooks. Um, DocuSign has a 30 day free trial. Um, HelloSign also has a free trial, but they weren't really specific on what that looked like. Um, DigiSigner has a, um, you can do three free per month and you can just Google um, online signature tools um, or online signature services, and you can get a list and you can go through and see who has free trials and then how much they are after the free trial. But I know DocuSign has a significant discount once you're done with that free trial. Um, they have a significant discount if you're a QuickBooks Pro Advisor. So the, the, again, the nice thing with this, we went through this entire tech stack, okay? And there are solutions in this tech stack that are free for everything except your URL and your URL is gonna cost you about $10 a year, okay? Um, and that's what we do in Bookkeeper Training School. We go through all these different options. Here are things that you have, here are your options to get started. 
as you go through and you build your business. Okay. But those are really, those are the items. So if you, if you came in late, you can rewatch this video or leave it up on the, on the page. Um, you can write down, you know, all the things that, that we talked about. Let me know if you have any questions um, as you go through, but it was really my goal to make bookkeeping accessible and to make online business accessible to anybody who wanted to do it. And so this tech stack works for bookkeeping. Um, this works for lots of other online freelance businesses. You can do this, even if you don't have a lot of money. Um, there are lots of tools out there that make it super accessible for you to be able to do this. And so I just wanted to break that down for you so that you could see what that looks like. So I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you have an awesome day. Take care and let's get started.